Welcome to the Masterful Manifestors free class. We're streaming to you live because someone told me to. So here we are and we're so excited. Yeah, challenge accepted. You're going to need a bigger vision for 2021 and we are going to dive in right now. I'm going to share my screen and you guys let me know. Can you see this beautiful blue screen? Beautiful. Looking Wonderful. Good. All right. So before we dive into 2021, let's talk about right now. We are in 2020. And uh, for some of us, it has felt a little bit like a Sharknado. Like everything is happening. So many things. It doesn't seem like it belongs here. Things are out of place. There's chaos. Um, it's just wild out there. Um, so Melanie, what you got for us? So what has 2020 been like for you? I mean, I know, you know, when the shutdown hit, when COVID hit, there was all this uncertainty, so much stuff going on. And even now there's still, we don't know, there's different um, waves of COVID going through. There's a lot of different things. There's the election, there's all sorts of just um, unrest going on in the country in with us internally, just so much uncertainty going on. For so many of us, it's just been absolutely just, you know, almost unbearable and everywhere you look we see different things like you see memes before I agree to 2021 I need to see some terms and conditions uh anyone else concerned about the 2020 season finale and if 2020 was a fishing trip this one's my favorite it would look something like this boat right here and that's right Jaws so 2020 has been pretty unpredictable. There's been a lot going on. And just to hear, this is one of the, this is the way that we would like to look at it. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Unlike so many of us, I know like when everything first started kicking off, even um, myself, I was getting a little, well, I was getting very nervous, um, unsettled, didn't know what was going on. I started to kind of panic a bit and, you know, just really let the uncertainty get in. However, Fortunately, I'm in a group, I was in a lot of different groups where there's very forward thinking solution mindset people where we kind of got together. And instead of looking at all of the negative, instead of getting caught up in, oh my goodness, what's going on? What's gonna happen? Looking for the negative, looking for the next shoe to drop. Instead we shifted and to, to the mindset of, okay, we're gonna need a bigger boat. So the idea that um, I kind of came up with and threw out to other people and we kind of all were thinking the same way. It's to have a goal so big that the problems paled in comparison. And what the idea behind it was to really kind of look at something so much bigger that would drive us and pull us through the harder difficult times. And so we got together and we formed a group focusing on a goal and we, we formed a community together. And so this happened back in March, um, we got together and we all started working together. And in this group, we really started to focus in and train our brains to look for the positive and to pull together. And when we were having difficult times to look at those times, understand them, work through all of the things that we've learned and that we've studied together. Mm, excuse me. So this is, it's so important. And the things that we've learned that really in your mind, you have a filtration device. And if you keep looking at the negative, if something crazy comes at you, something, especially something that's threatening your safety or the safety of your loved ones, those in your community, you're gonna focus on that. But the more that you focus on it, you're gonna look at all of the things that can go wrong about it. And you're gonna train your brain, your brain's looking for those things that can harm you. And so as you keep looking at it, even though you might not be able to do anything about it, you're just going to keep looking for all the negative and it's gonna fill your brain and it's just gonna overwhelm you with all of the negative things. So instead in our community, we would take a break from all of those things and we would form, get together and focus on the positive things. What are our goals? What are the things that we want to accomplish? What can we choose to do now? What do we have control over? What is it I have within my reach now? And now within this whole community, what can we do to move forward 
and work toward our dreams and move around those obstacles, those huge obstacles with the team together and a community together, we can work around it. Yeah. And before um, that 90 days was up, um, our friend Talos uh, had an idea. Uh, Talos, why don't you tell us a little bit about the idea that you had? So um, <clears throat> I'm a bit lost here. What, what's my idea? Your idea was to start a business. Right, right. Thank you. <laughs> so the group was going that well that um, I, I figured this was going to be something that we could really take to people outside of the group. And so I said to Melanie, um, we should start this as a business. So we started working together and then we got Marion on board. And that's when things really started happening with the trio. And um, that's how we came up with the um, LLC Masterful Manifestors. So we've been working on that ever since and coming up with a program um, that's designed to, in this instance, give you a bigger vision to allow you to work towards what it is that you want and um, create the vision that's going to be fulfilling for you and everyone around you. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And then Melanie, what else started happening? Well, within the group, go ahead and go to the next one, please. Within the group, we were able to focus. Um, we started shifting more toward our individual goals because as we found out, really honing in what drives us, what is our motivation within us, and really going through picking those things apart and knowing what we want to go after individually. That's what we started working toward. And even though we each had individual goals, we made sure that they were the big goals that would really call to us and stretched us. So in those difficult times, we were able to stay focused. We didn't have time to get distracted because we knew so much of our attention needed to go on those goals. And so we continued to push forward and focus on those. And um, during that time, we noticed we would started to do different calls to action. And we would uh, challenge people like to save to go live in, in our community and to share different things and to do different um, tasks along the way. And through that, through those live shares, through the tasks that we challenge people to, we saw just tremendous amounts of growth within these individuals, not only within them, but within all of us that were in the group. We grew together because not only were we sharing and re, um, learning what we had gone through and really kind of picking apart what worked well and what didn't, but we were also watching other people do the same thing. So not only were we going through our own, but every individual that shared, we got to learn from them. We got to see their experiences and really, um, you know, quantum leap the learning that we were doing within the group. Another really, really wonderful thing happened. Um, the vulnerability that was there also just really helped everyone open up, be transparent with themselves and with one another so that they can really jump to what the different issues they were having. Um, and also there were so many synchronicities that started happening with the, within the group. We started getting so close and really understanding and pushing toward goals that we were just really, it, it seemed like we were just a, if someone was waking up early in the middle of the night and they mentioned it, we realized like three or four other people were doing the same thing. And there are some really wonderful, beautiful synchronicities that went along with that. And again, it's, it's keeping the mind focused. Well, in I wouldn't say all of them were beautiful. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I, I think there was the beauty in being in it together. I mean, some of them were really not that great, <laughs> but knowing that someone else is going through it with you sometimes, you know, it led, it led to a lot of laughter and, and, um, you know, bonding there as well. Yeah. I didn't like getting up at 2 a.m. <laughs> Thanks, Stephanie. Um, <laughs> She's still sharing all of that fun and joy when she's up and when she's not. It's so awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah. So all of that was happening. It was really incredible. We started a business and we launched our first season in July. And we decided to just kind of add an element of reminders and calls to action and challenges throughout the season. And so this is just like a collage of the topics that we covered in, in the season and um, getting to continue that momentum and build it up and make uh, other goals and, um, you know, like really 
tapping into those like quantum leap behaviors and so many things happened. And I want us to just like take a moment and just the three of us, since we're on this call, share some of the things that have happened. For me, the biggest thing is that I manifested more money than I set as a goal. I set uh, $30,000 as my goal. I wanted to manifest that in personal income, business revenue, and value. Uh, so even if I didn't get cash money, I was getting something that was valued at that level. And counting all of that and tracking all of that, I exceeded that goal. And that's wild to me because guys, $30,000 is more than I made in 2018 and 2019 combined. So there's that. That was done in 90 days, but uh, yeah, who wants to go next? Yeah, mine, mine was uh, on a similar vein. Um, so my initial goal with the season one was financial. Um, and I managed to almost double my entire income for the year within that 90 days. So um, at the end of the 90 days, when I was adding it all up and reviewing the season, uh, that absolutely blew me away and uh, I knew we were on to something good. Um, through the season, it was beautiful being able to grow everything and to really help the business along and all three of us together, I think have done, done a really amazing job as far as being able to bring this to everyone out there. And so focusing on that and growing this community, we've been able to have you know our morning show and really grow and our network and really um, extend our reach, which within the company, it's our vision to be able to share and give away the fundamental secrets of growth and fulfillment. And through this whole process, we've been doing that every single day. And our network's so big. We have such beautiful community partners and we continue to grow it. And in that growth as well, we've been able to reach out and make connections with the city that I'm locally involved with and being able to bring different things, different programs to the local community. And we're continuing to do our reach into different areas that we're negotiating with different areas to really bring this type of information and this knowledge. Because I know personally, 2017, my eyes were open to the law of attraction, self-development, that whole thing. And it's absolutely changed my life, opened up my eyes to so much beauty and joy. Like I, I remember back before then, I felt so st stuck and trapped. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I felt hopeless. I didn't know that this really existed, even though it was all out there. And you know, just the awareness that opened my eyes to it, it's so beautiful. And it's just the passion of all three of us to really bring this to everyone, to bring it to as many people out there. So the growth in the business has just been absolutely beautiful and that we're able to share this with so many people. It just brings so much joy to my heart. Yeah. And the journey is great. And I mean, we just, we just went through a lot of highlights, but I do want to like talk about a little bit of the challenges on the journey because there is limiting beliefs that we have to overcome and we, and we do have to make some quantum leaps to make things happen. So Taylor, could you tell us the story about, um, some of the challenges you were facing um, recently and um, one of the big things that you manifested? So I was in a position where I needed to find myself a, a new place to live. And uh, I kept coming up against brick walls and not finding what I was wanting. And I knew that I wasn't gonna settle um, for anything less than what I wanted. Um, and so I think it got to almost um, two and a half, three months of searching and looking. And um, I know personally, I felt I got sick of talking about it to everyone in the group. So I don't know how they felt on the receiving end. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but it, it got to the point where we we're on a Frequency Friday call. And I think it was Ryan said, um, you need to take a quantum leap. And I sort of stopped in my thought tracks and was like, um, I had nothing. And, you know, you guys came up with, you know, maybe you just need to book an Airbnb and just hang out there and provide a sign to the universe that, that you're ready, you know? And um, so Saturday night, I, I um, <laughs> booked an Airbnb for the night and 
um, it, that, that was good. And then we ended up staying at a friend's place for the rest of the week. And um, next thing, Monday morning, um, I get told that I've been approved for a house uh, that I was after. So um, it wasn't until I took that quantum leap that uh, the universe provided for us and uh, gave us that opportunity. So very big believer in the quantum leap now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So um, that happened and obviously we've just shared a lot from us and I recognize there's a bias here. We love Masterful Manifestors and we are the co-founders of the business. Um, but we actually have two customers that we have as ambassadors, uh, Ryan Klutz and Rose Stein. And so I want to share with you some of the um, uh, feedback that they've given us about their experience. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and play these videos. I'm just going to make sure that I uh, share the computer sound. And uh, you guys just give me a thumbs up if you can hear it when I press play. And it's incredible how many people have let themselves go. We're in an incredible amount of fear right now in our country for so many reasons on so many levels. The entire world is just unsure of what's going on. So, you know, again, when, when Talos asked me that first time, he's like, well, I'm glad that you got so much benefit from the first one. Like, why wouldn't you continue this on? It's like, oh my God, I, I haven't felt any of that for all of all all of this like my weight is stable i i don't drink don't have any desire to i started my own business like literally this this course is good for anyone who wants to live and prosper and allow their own inner guidance to move them and draw them towards what they're actually here to do on this earth in this life. That was Rose Stein. Let's hear from Ryan. And when I look back from just a few months ago at the person who um, hid <laughs> for a long time, um, and you know, I wanted to be out there, but I was too scared. It almost seems crazy that I was ever like that because it just, this comes so naturally to me now. And it's through the constant practice of going live with you guys and feeling like, okay, if I can be vulnerable with them and be myself with them, I can actually be myself with the people that I'm trying to attract as well. Yeah, that was really incredible um, watching Ryan grow her community. It's just escalated so much just because she found that confidence um, through being in the group and being able to share. So yeah, she came, she came <laughs> such a long way. It was so beautiful to watch her grow. I mean, I'm, she was like hiding. It really was just, such, I think the biggest transformation she was hiding at the beginning. And then she just made up her mind. She made that decision and bam, she's just taken off awesome yeah it which is so wild because i feel like i take that for granted because she's in the group i see her all the time and she is for sure my life role model and so to finally see her like sharing that with other people i'm like well good everyone else can benefit too because she's absolutely amazing um so yeah next week we are going to be launching season two our doors are open right now and you can join and so let's tell you a little bit about what you can expect if you wanna join our community. So we've got um, topics that we share throughout the journey. Um, we have uh, kind of come up with this uh, kind of curriculum where we are going to issue calls to action and challenges um, to remind you of a lot of things. I mean, a lot of our Masterful Manifestors know a lot of these components, but actually implementing them into their life is um, something that we want to make sure that they do. Um, Taylor, would you like to tell us a little bit about what the curriculum looks like? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Marion. So the first one we kick off with is life purpose. Um, and life purpose is about creating, uh, for me anyway, a statement um, that I live up to every day and something that's going to drive me and get me out of bed in the morning. 
Um, I know when I came up with my first life purpose, um, I, I went from pressing the snooze button every morning um, to waking after making the life purpose, then getting up before the alarm every day because I had a newfound motivation. So uh, I'm a big believer in having a good life purpose to work towards. And then that brings us into the goals and vision board. So um, the goals are basically about creating something you want to achieve. And it's really important to have those goals in alignment with your life purpose. Um, and also with your own values in mind. Um, because once you have those two things in place, it really transforms how you achieve things in your life. And then along with the goals, um, we also have the vision board. Um, because for someone like me, goals are a great way, but for someone who's a lot more visual, vision boards are a lot more powerful for them. So whether you have both or one or the other, um, it's really great to have that um, aid with you to work through what you're working on. Then we move on to gratitude. So gratitude is really um, a fundamental basic in the law of attraction work. It, it's about being grateful in the moment for things that you have and then also grateful for things um, that you're receiving in the future. And, and once you start doing that practice, um, it really paves the way for manifesting things in your life because the um, shift in the way you think um, really changes the way things show up for you in the universe. And then we move on to giving. So there are fundamental laws around giving and receiving. So once we work out um, that we're grateful, we then start um, moving into giving and whether that be donating to a charity or tipping or just um, paying it forward in things that you're doing, um, you, you start to get a sense of um, the ebb and flow of things coming to you and things you're giving out. Then we move on to affirmations and visualisation. So affirmations are a fantastic way of really... Um, reinforcing to yourself um, things that you want to focus on in your life. So um, for me, you know, it's happiness, wealth, abundance, prosperity and success. So repeating that to myself all the time, I start focusing on those things I want in my life versus what we tend to do as human beings is focus on what we don't want. So we really want to affirm to ourselves the things we do want. And then we can move into visualizing the sort of things or the outcomes, the way we want to live, the life we want to lead. And then we move into the M's, which happens to be Marion's favorites, um, <laughs> mentorship. So having someone that you can work with or look up to and act in a similar way to pick up their success tips. Um, meditation. So meditation is uh, a fantastic way of, um, first of all, relaxation. Um, second of all, being at one with yourself. And third of all, opening yourself up to uh, whatever's out there in the universe, whether it's vibrations or um, getting uh, those thunderbolt moments where things come to you and you really start having breakthroughs um, in the way you're doing things in your life. Then we have masterminds. So um, Marion is a master at getting people together, having a meeting of the minds <laughs> on a Monday. <laughs> and the great thing about masterminds is um, when you have you know, two or more people coming together in a group, focusing on a single outcome and um, assisting one another. Um, the, the basic premise is uh, you come with a win um, and you also uh, come with an intention for the week. And during that time, you get to work with the group on masterminding um, things that you can do to have a breakthrough in those areas of your life. 
And it, it's an amazing situation to have all these people working together on one goal at one time and the things that come out of those groups are just absolutely mind-blowing. So I can't recommend those highly enough. And then we move on to uh, confidence and decision. Um, so having the confidence uh, to be yourself, I know for me, um, was, was a big breakthrough. Um, the things with our communities that I've noticed is um, because it's such a safe place to share what's going on and be yourself, people's confidence just grows um, astronomically. And then daily habits and movement with Mel um, is about creating habits that are going to really uh, reinforce all the things that we've learned and get that movement happening. So you're keeping that energy and vibration high um, and therefore really attracting more things to you in your life. And obviously I'm talking to step 11 already with vibration. Um, desire and sixth sense. So um, having a burning desire can really uh, shape the way you achieve your goals. Um, the sixth sense is trusting your intuition and knowing um, that once you have that confidence to trust those things that are coming to you and acting on them. Um, and for me, it was really about um, having faith in the universe and allowing um, those things to unfold for me without actually trying to make it happen. Um, and I've already spoken about quantum leap um, and the fantastic res results we get there with quantum leaps. Um, and finally, reflection and next steps. And I think reflection um, is, is a really fantastic time because we, we get to um, take a moment to really absorb all those uh, 90 days where we've learnt new things, we've taken new actions, we've created some wonderful things in our lives and really appreciate that moment. And um, it's a very special uh, thing to have. And I know I'm very grateful for having this in my life, so. Yeah, well said, Talos. Gosh, it's a good thing you're a teacher. Um, <laughs> Melanie, can you tell us about some of the other things we have in this season um, in terms of events? I would gladly do so. Um, so we also have internal events We've, we've adjusted a few things this season to make it um, a little bit more digestible and just really uh, to keep the energy up. So the topics that we'll go over, we present them in the group and you can watch those videos um, when you choose to do so. But then we also have the internal events where each week we will have a Frequency Friday. That's a beautiful time where we can all come together on a Zoom call, check in with each other's frequencies, celebrate wins, and then after we go around and celebrate wins with one another, then we can really dive into any questions that they had that came up from the calls to action throughout the week. Any other issues that they have going on in their life that they need help with, they need energy support, love with, or any exciting things that they have coming up that they want us to wish them well on and to, um, or hold them accountable to. So Frequency Fridays we have each week. Um, we have a gratitude challenge within the group. Um, we have a pay it forward. And um, we do, we just got done having a This Is Me party. So um, that's something that I really, really enjoy doing. And it's what This Is Me is, is it's acting as if you already have your goal achieved. I was chilling on the beach in my be beach house in California, just at the party that we were at. It was a lot of fun. Um, and then we also have an intuitive living week. These are all internal events that we have going on that will correlate with the topics that we'll be discussing and doing calls to action throughout the week. We also have external events that we will hold um, at an additional cost um, outside of, not an additional cost, but for those that are outside of our season, they will be a cost, but they are all included. If you're, if you're, you've signed up for the season, these will be free of charge and everyone's invited to it. So we have a vision board party, um, which Marion hosted last time. It was wonderful, it was fun. I got my new vision board up. Um, we have a manifestation meditation retreat, and Marion does have some wonderful meditations. They are on our YouTube channel as well. You can check some of those out. 
Um, master your morning challenge. This is one of the crowd favorites where we've done a few of these and they really help you set up your morning routines or um, even we've even included some nighttime routines in that as well. But to really master your morning, how to get you set up, different tips and tricks on how to do that. And a lot of times we just ask you to pick one new thing to help start your day off and just start with that first step. So that has been a game changer for so many people. We've gotten a lot of um, really positive responses from that. Um, and then we also have a special guest event as well. Yeah, and I know the the morning challenge is a, uh, definitely a fan favorite of people. We're actually going to have it for New Year's. It's going to be how we kick off 2021. So I'm really excited about that. So again, we've just shared of all the wonderful things we think um, about Masterful Manifestors, but let's um, just hear one more time from Rose about uh, the best part she thinks is Masterful Manifestors. Top on the board there is going to be the community group calls. I mean, that's just where it's at. I can't do this on my own. Lord knows I'd have done it a long time ago. <laughs> right? It's hard to see your own stuff without other people, right? It's hard to even know that there is something on the other side of that mountain until someone kind of like peeks up around and goes, whoa, dad, it's pretty cool over here. Come on. You're like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, it's just so easy in life just to get lost and discombobulated and and the way in which the group comes together again with that genuine authenticity and powerful intention to move forward and through stuff and to be vulnerable and when you're in a group that where there's people that are willing to be vulnerable and to show up in that way it allows you the space to show up in that way as well. And then the healing can really begin to happen. So I, I gotta say that our um, our calls that we're gonna do actually in a little bit. So I'm super excited about that to see everybody. Um, our afternoon calls on Friday, those are absolutely wonderful. I also am a lifelong learner and I love to know more and understand more and see other people's perspectives so that I can I can know what else is available to me. And so the classes have been absolutely wonderful. There's meditation sessions where I literally listen to the melody one like every single day. I, 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 I can't go on with my day without it. I think it's like 10 minutes long. It's beautiful. It's like this piano melody that, that happens. Um, I mean, every, every piece that you guys have, have gone through, and of course the movement, Lord knows we need movement, motivation, Mel, <laughs> like literally every single day because COVID sucks and I live in California and we can't even go outside. We can't breathe. Like it's been, it's obnoxious. It's been six weeks. I've gone out maybe seven times. It's crazy. So there are so many ways in which, again, that doesn't mean I'm, I just am going to sit on my bottom all day long. But if I don't have somebody else, right, like you popping up every day, <laughs> you guys, what are you doing? Marion doing her little chats. You know, the Facebook group has been so amazing because everyone gets to go live and share their stuff. So we don't have to wait for that once a week call, which is really beautiful to stay in touch with each other. We can continue and we do continue all of us um, to share during the week and go live in the Facebook group. So that's been invaluable as well. Um, I know I just keep going on. I'm like, every time I think of like another thing that you guys do, I'm like, oh yeah, that too. Oh yeah, that too. I love that. Oh, I love Rose so much. She's so awesome. Everyone and in our group, our community is so just beautiful and wonderful. It just, oh my goodness. I love it. I know. I, it's like, it's like, they don't even realize like we're doing this for us. <laughs> like we just <laughs> want to be surrounded by them. <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> It's amazing. Oh, speaking of which, uh, ooh, Karen is giving us some love in the chat. Thank you, Karen. Thanks for watching. Um, Karen and Craig, Karen. thanks for the, all the love and the support. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. So um, we're asking you to join Masterful Manifestors, and we have a special little bonus. Um, it's not advertised on the sales page. Uh, you can go to the sales page at masterfulmanifestors.com forward slash join. It's in the description. 
Um, but if you uh, sign up between now and Sunday night um, at 8 p.m. this Sunday, I'm talking about two days from now, we will give you a one hour coaching call with the coach of your choice. You can shift your energy with Melanie, gain clarity with your goals with Talos, or you can boost your productivity with me. You can choose whatever you want. Uh, one hour with one of us completely free. If you join this weekend, it's our special little weekend free class bonus. So if you sign up, uh, we'll know that and we'll reach out and uh, we'll ask you uh, who you want to get coaching from. And if the price is uh, a bit wonky for you, um, it is priced at $497. It's for three months. It's the whole membership, just a one-time payment. Um, we do have a payment plan, uh, a three-part uh, payment plan that you can choose if you would rather do it month to month. Um, but also, we have a free scholarship. It is up for grabs. Anyone can apply. Um, we are doing a video uh, entry scholarship where you just have to record a two minute video about what you want to accomplish in the 90 days, upload it to YouTube, and then send us the link. Um, our email is info at masterfulmanifestors.com. If you do that by Wednesday, we will be selecting one lucky winner to get free entry into Masterful Manifestors. We'll announce that winner on our show on Thursday. Uh, so go for it, guys. We want to hear uh, what you want to accomplish. We want to know why you want to join Masterful Manifestors. Am I missing anything, guys? No, declare those, declare those goals that you have and, and start focusing on them now. Absolutely. Put them in a video. We want to see it. We want to support you. Definitely. And this can be your first step on your manifesting journey is manifesting your enrollment into the course. Hell yeah. Yeah, I think Melanie knows a lot about that, right? <laughs> I am all about that. That is the best way to do it. And it, it just gives that extra energy and excitement to it. So absolutely. I'm a scholarship master. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, um, anything else coming from the Facebook Live? Are we good? Anybody uh, else need to say anything about some? Um, Karen, Karen, uh, Karen agreeing with us. She knows the value. She's par participated, and she she loves yes. Rose too. It looks like <laughs> awesome, awesome. Who doesn't love Rose? <laughs> <Everybody. Doesn't agree. laughs> and Ryan and everyone that yes, absolutely. Yes, yes. So join today, guys. Uh, we're open uh, for another week. We kick off uh, Sunday, October 25th. We're going to kick off with a bang. We're all going to get on a Zoom. We're going to get oriented to the group, celebrate the start of our 90 days. It's very exciting. A lot of us have been early birds and have already started writing down our goals. Uh, because we're it's in the group so too. <laughs> You sign up now, you get in now, we're already in the group. We're, we're, oh yeah, we're as soon as you group. sign up, you'll get a link into the Facebook group and we've been going live all week long and we've had some major wins. Like I had a really big win today uh, and you can see all of that uh, when you join. You can see all of the lives we've had and um, yeah, jump in. I, I fulfilled a lifelong dream this week, so I shared about that. Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> You're so sorry. <laughs> sorry, there's so much happening. I can't keep it's just it constantly. <laughs> like, was that today's manifestation or yesterday's? Halo, it's like, come on. No, that was the day before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. So if you like to laugh, <laughs> join Masterful Manifestors because <laughs> uh, we're always uh, having a good time. And even when we're not, I mean, I think we've all cried on this. <laughs> I think everyone's <laughs> cried at some point on a lot. An emotional roller coaster. It's beautiful. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, we'll let you guys go and have a good like Friday night or whatever. <laughs> have an excellent weekend <laughs> to kick off your Saturday, whatever the case may be, wherever you are. We love you guys so much. We will be back uh, with the Masterful Morning Show next week. But in the meantime, why don't you just join our community and hang out? Love you guys. Bye. Season two. Bye. -bye. <laughs>